What's going on everybody? It's Lights Out from MaddenDilly.com and this is Madden Tip Tuesday. We're going to be breaking down part two of the Sugar Blitz scheme. Before we get started, I want to shout out every single one of you that watched and supported us as we played in the Twitch Doracell Madden 15 stream this past weekend. It was a 26 hour long stream. If any of you are watching at any point in time, post in the comments below. And for the guys that did not get a chance to watch the event, there should be other events like that, hopefully in the near future. And even if there isn't, Stiff luckily was able to get into the tournament and play against not only some Madden, other Madden pros, but also Patrick Willis. He already posted that video. For the guys that have not yet seen that, you can watch Stiff versus Patrick Willis on our YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. All right, enough about that. Let's get back to this big nickel strong dumb it down defensive scheme we posted part one about a week or two ago which we broke down the sugar blitz play and we just wanted to show you the concept of controlling the linebacker in the middle putting him into a zone and holding the left trigger which is lt or l2 and what's going to happen is he's going to freeze the center leaving the right defensive end to come in free if you have yet to watch part one of the scheme click the annotation above just to reiterate though, I'm going to show you it. It's big nickel strong, sugar blitz. You're going to grab the left of screen linebacker, put him in a zone. Then you are going to put him in the A gap. So now both linebackers are inside like a double A gap. And you're going to hold the left trigger, which is LT or L2. And what's going to happen is the center is going to look at him. You're going to drop back into coverage while the defensive end comes in clean. So that was just part one. That was just to show you the concept of the Sugar Blitz. But we're not going to actually use the play called Sugar Blitz. The main two plays that we're going to use out of this big nickel strong formation out of the multiple defensive playbook is Sugar 2 Buzz and Sugar 3 Seam. One is a cover 2 shell. The other is a cover 3. What's great about these two plays is the weakness of the cover 3, the Sugar 3 Seam, is going to be the flats. And that's going to be the strength of our sugar two buzz play so if you mix both of these in together you're going to have an effective pass defense let's start off with the sugar two buzz all we're going to do for this scheme is press coverage and crash the defensive line down remember this is a dumb it down scheme so we can only make three adjustments or less so far that's two adjustments now all we need to do is grab the middle linebacker on the left and hold the lt or l2 trigger we're going to keep holding the LT or L2 trigger about a half second after our opponent hikes the ball. That way the center looks at us and then we will drop back into our hook zone coverage guarding the left seam. You're going to see the center look at us initially, then double team the left of screen defensive tackle, leaving the nickel back to come in free untouched. That was against shotgun. Now it's also going to work against under center. Same thing, press coverage and crash the defensive line down. Control the left of screen, linebacker in the A-gap. Hold LT and the nickelback should come in free if our opponent does not block. It doesn't matter if they're in shotgun, pistol, or under center. To stop the play action, you're either going to want to pass commit your defense or put your defense in contains by pressing L2 or LT and then R1 or RB. If you hold the LT or L2 button with the middle linebacker, the left nickelback will come in every time. But even if you don't control the hook zones and you play maybe on the right safety, a lot of times that nickelback will come in by just playing press coverage and crashing the defensive line down. The times in which we would control the safeties instead of either linebacker is when we need to stop the run. Here are some quick adjustments we would make if controlling one of the safeties, for instance the right safety, we might deep blue or man up the right cornerback and then we're able to kind of bite down a little bit with the safety or manually play the tight end or slot receiver, whatever it is on that side. So there are a lot of adjustments you can make, but the purpose of this video, since it's a dumb it down video, we're going to keep the rest of the video nice, simple and easy to use, but still effective when mixing this sugar two buzz with the cover three version. Here you've seen that since we're blitzing to the left, if they're in shotgun and they block the running back right, the blitz should still come in, especially if you control the linebacker. So that was the Sugar 2 Buzz, a cover 2 version of the blitz, and we mainly only just do the left-sided blitz. We don't really make many other adjustments with it. So a negative is if the blitz does get blocked, for instance, if they have a running back to the left, then they could kill us. Since it's just a cover 2 shell, maybe a 4 vertical play or something like that, 
would beat us. So we need to mix up the coverages. And that's why we also like to use the play called Sugar 3 Seam, which is a cover 3 shell. We're going to do the same exact setup, which is just press coverage and crash the defensive line down. The whole reason why we play press coverage is to keep this D looking exactly the same pre-snap like the Sugar 2 Buzz. So our opponent won't know what coverage we are in pre-snap. Again, we're going to control the left linebacker in the A-gap, hold LT or L2. And this play is different than the Sugar 2 Buzz, not only with the coverage, but the right of screen linebacker in the A-gap is already blitzed. So what's going to happen is two guys are going to come in free if no one blocks, and one guy will come in free if the running back blocks. So the running back blocked, and the nickel back came in. If nobody blocks, again, we're just playing press coverage, crash the defensive line down, control the linebacker, and hold L tier L2. And now we're going to get the nickel back to come in off the left and the right of screen defensive end to come in free to the right. And then we would just drop back and play the hook zone in the middle with our left linebacker. This is also going to work against under center. If the running back doesn't block or if no one blocks, we should get two guys to come in free, the left nickel back and right of screen defensive end, just like shotgun. And then if the running back does block, one of them should still come in. As you can see, the nickel back comes in untouched. Now, you don't always have to send both sides. That's a six-man rush. It's very hard to send six guys all the time. Against a good opponent, you're going to get carved. The main weakness of this defense is the flats. Say that we know for sure someone's going to the flats to the right. We could take the right middle linebacker that was blitzing before and put him in a flat zone, then control the left linebacker in the middle, and the nickelback will come in free. Or if we want to watch the left flats, we could coverage the left nickelback, control the left linebacker, hold LT or L2, and now the right end will come in. So it doesn't have to just be a double-sided. It could be either a left-sided blitz or a right-sided blitz or both. Mix these two plays together and you now have a great dumb it down pass defensive scheme that should give your opponent fits if they're passing the ball heavily, no matter what formation they're in. If you want us to continue Madden Tip Tuesday, hit that like button. And also, if you enjoyed this scheme, check out our brand new Ravens defensive ebook. It's a must buy. It's even better than our Vikings defensive ebook that we dropped earlier in the year. It's $17.99 if you're not a member and only $8.99 if you are a member of our website. Get that right now. And until next time, it's lights out for MadenDaily.com. Later.